Welcome everybody. I wanted to pop in and do a quick video. I'm going to try to keep this one a little less than three minutes. I know a lot of you are busy and want to get a little bit of information. Now, some of you are dealing with your station tube dysfunction, tinnitus, TMJ. Now, I wanted to do a little bit more of a spill about coffee, no pun intended. I wanted to let you all know that there are a substantial amount of you out there that are finding out that coffee is simply not helping at all. It's actually making the conditions of your ears very worse. And I'm going to explain a little bit of why that is. Now, we all know when we're dealing with these conditions, meaning your station tube dysfunction and tinnitus and TMJ, we're going to be dealing with a lot of problems with the jaw. When we're drinking coffee, a lot of times what happens is our muscles begin to tense up that adrenaline starts to build, that cortisol level starts to build. We start to get a, a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of uh, depression, trying to figure out what's happening here. When I was consuming coffee, uh, it, only one cup a day as well, I was feeling this, this flush going through my jaw. It was starting to really bother me over time. And I didn't realize it had anything to do with my ears popping and swishing and making these weird sounds that a lot of you are explaining as well. And I was doing this every day. And I want you all to know, some of you have left comments. I've been reading the comments. A lot of you have left comments saying, I think coffee's making me worse. You're absolutely right. Here's a couple of reasons why. This is not to knock coffee and say that it's the evil drink that you should never consume. This is to explain to you that when you're dealing with these conditions, it's going to make things worse. And I have to explain that to you and tell you that there may be a lucky set of you all out there that probably are going through it just fine drinking coffee. But I'm going to tell you, for those out there who are dealing with this condition for two plus more weeks or even a month or even years, coffee has a substantial uh, it has a substantial effect on how well you heal and how long it lasts. Not only does it dehydrate the body, first thing in the morning, when is coffee usually consumed? In the morning. You get up out of bed, the first thing you do is you go and grab some coffee. You're already dehydrated when you wake up. If you're drinking coffee, you're dehydrating yourself, you're causing your muscles to not have that, uh, that flow from having hydration in the body. When you drink plenty of water throughout the day, you're causing your muscles to have that, that, that consistency that it needs. What is what we're dealing with right here? Muscles, our jaw are locking up. It's getting tense. It's pulling down on the, the muscles in the ear. And the problem is, is, is you're getting the swishing sounds and the, and the clicking sounds is because it's all coming from the joints here of the, of the jaw muscles. And the coffee is making you more tense. It's tightening you up. There's a lot of chemicals that go behind the process of coffee beans. And I'm telling you right now that even consuming decaf has shown to have a little more to have effects as well with this conditions and I want to tell you that if you're feeling the anxiety you're feeling the depression coming up and rising it has a lot to do with coffee coffee increases cortisol levels and when you're dealing with this condition you want to reduce the cortisol levels you want to to add in the, the increased the endorphins increase the serotonin this is what's going to help you want to keep the jaw nice and loose the neck muscles nice and loose this is what's going to ultimately help heal the ears and a lot of you out there are not told that depending on how your jaw health is and your neck health is and your muscle health is, is going to depend on how well you heal from the conditions of your station tube dysfunction. So my little spill is today is if you're drinking coffee, pay close attention to your symptoms, pay close attention to your moods. You're going to see a fluctuation in mood swings. You're going to feel a little bit more anxiety. The patience is going to be, be very narrow and you're going to notice the symptoms way far more than you would if you weren't consuming the coffee because it's going to give you more symptoms in my opinion it's going to narrow the nasal passages it's going to dehydrate you suck out sucking all the water away from you you need that water to replenish to heal to get to supply nutrients to the muscles and to the tissue you need all that to flow and if you don't have it you're it's going to increase the longevity of this condition is going to increase symptoms are going to increase and it's just going to weigh in on your mental health and ultimately you're going to be more depressed trying to figure out what's going on than if you weren't consuming coffee so my opinion here today is not to knock coffee per se but to let you be aware that it's probably causing a lot of your symptoms it caused a lot of my symptoms and for a lot of you out there are noticing that it's causing a lot of your symptoms so just be aware of the consumption of coffee uh, and be aware of what it's, how it's making you feel. And I think if you start to minimize the amount 
and then eventually do away with it, at least until you get rid of these this conditions and these conditions, you'll notice a lot of improvement. So I hope that video, this video was very helpful for many of you out there. If it was, take time to hit the subscribe button because I try to bring content as quickly and, and efficiently as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and leave you with this. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I will talk to you all very soon. Take care, everybody.